And what do we have for him, Johnny? A new drone. Now, let's just get straight into the video. The point of this video today is that Boss Lipo has lied to me. They said this battery was gonna be really fat and not so good. Instead, it's literally the most perfect battery that I've ever seen. I don't know if it's just me, because I'm hungry. But looking at this thing right now, in this moment, it's delicious lipo. I'm thinking this is, this is yummy. Surely this is gonna taste <laughs> I've been on this journey to build the sub 250 king of cinematic footage. See, for me, going to like a mall and flying around in tight spaces with a pretty quiet drone that's got that center of gravity so it's not wobbling all over the place. You can get those really smooth shots. You get that cinematic footage. The Mecha Roach did that, but it was a bit big. Flying the little Hero, the two inch, little 2S is great, but of course that's analog. That doesn't do anything as a professional filmmaker. So that is where this came in right here. This is the baby tank or the FUFAA because sub 250, we can give the middle finger to them currently. Now the problem with this is that because I want the battery to slot up in the middle, which is pretty much the design I've been going with every drone because it works so well, is that this 1050 battery is too heavy and there was just no way I was gonna get this thing to be under 250 grams. Now I accomplished the sub 250 with the Dogcom 560. That's just not enough flight time as a professional because oftentimes you might be hovering for a minute or two waiting for the time when everything's about to go and you need to go film it. You need to have a decent amount of flight time and of course you also need to be sub 250. And that's when I talked to Boss Lipo and I asked them if they had a battery that was kind of in the middle. They told me the 650 battery was 19 millimeters of thickness. Now, just to give you a reference, the 1050 battery is 17 millimeters of thickness, which is what I designed this drone for. 17 millimeters, ooh, perfect fit. A little bit of expansion room when the battery gets a little bit fat. So I did the work and I redesigned the drone from the ground up all over again to fit the 19 millimeter battery. And then I got these things in the mail today and I put them in there and I'm like, this is way too big. And then I matched it up against the 1050 and I'm like, this is literally exactly the same. If anything, it seems almost a little bit smaller. So here we go. This battery is actually perfect. 17 millimeters, the same as the 1050. And that's so perfect because here we go right in there, slots right in, even a little bit of room so that as the battery kind of expands after a year or so of use, it'll still be able to fit. But then of course the question becomes, does it meet the weight requirements? Stick it right on there. 249.2 grams. Chef's kiss. We literally have hit the perfect balance. This is it right here. With this 650 battery from Boss Lipo, you have the most perfect cinematic drone that you possibly can have. Now, I'm very proud of a lot of my designs. When it comes to this right here, I'm telling you guys, this is the most perfect drone for sub 250 cinematic work that exists on the entire planet. Here it is right here. There's the Defender 25 with its two minute flight time and its wobbly performance. There's a the Cinelog 25 with its wobbly performance and a questionable durability. And there's all these other drones that, well, they might get the job done. But this one right here, this is for professionals. Now what's more is that this thing actually has two heat sinks up on the top. And the reason why I needed two heat sinks and I'm so excited that it met weight with those two heat sinks is that because this drone is meant to be flown slowly indoors, it's meant to you know fly cruisy, you know, get those crazy product shots, get those professional shots that you're gonna get paid for to do. That means there's not gonna be a lot of airflow. You're not gonna be flying fast and pumping that air over the air unit and cooling it down. And these things overheat like crazy, especially now when it's 40C out. Over the life of about five different batteries as I was testing things and it never overheated even once. That is absolutely phenomenal and it's even better than my 3.5 inch right there. I might be having to adopt this design for that. But then the question becomes, what is the flight time?
So it seems to be if you're flying fast, you'll get around three minutes and 40 seconds. And if you're flying slow, you probably can get something like four minutes and 20 seconds of flight time. And that is really fantastic for a drone this small. And I gotta give credit to Boss Lifo and to Dogcom. They both sent me their 650 and they both also told me that this was gonna be bigger than it really was. And it turned out to fit just perfectly in the frame that I designed for the 1050 battery. Now with the 1050, you will be getting around six minutes of flight time, but you will be suffering with the flight performance. However, if you're shooting something professionally and you might have to wait around for the DP to say go, you might want something like this because you need that extra minute or two. And that's it guys, this is the Baby Tank or the FUFAA. With this video, I'll be releasing all the files on my website if you wanna print this and build it for yourself, or if you wanna buy it from me and have me build it for you, you can do that on the website as well. This is Dr. Quads guys, I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you next time.